Court proceedings have begun at Guantanamo Bay for three men accused of being behind the 2002 Bali bombings and the bombing of the Jakarta Marriott the following year. Nick Harper with this report. The arraignment of the three men at Guantanamo Bay marks the first time that they've been formally charged 18 years after they were captured. Prosecutors accuse Hambali from Indonesia and Mohammed Nazir Lep and Mohammed Farik Amin from Malaysia of multiple charges, including terrorism, murder and conspiracy. They were captured in Thailand in 2003. The US then spent the next three years interrogating them in secret CIA black site prisons before transferring them to the high security facility at Guantanamo in September 2006. And now this, finally, is the start of court proceedings against them. However, Monday's planned one-day arraignment was delayed after technical and translation issues. The judge pushed back the reading of the charges to Tuesday. However, the defendant's lawyers say they will petition to disqualify this arraignment. They say that it was invalid due to inadequate translation in the court. The three men did not enter pleas and no trial date has been set. However, this is expected to be a lengthy legal process, just as many of the other military commission cases have languished at Guantanamo for years. The highest profile case at Guantanamo, that of the five men accused of the 9-11 terror attacks, have been bogged down in pre-trial hearings since their arraignments in May 2012, with the trial itself yet to begin. The arraignment of Hambali, Mohammed Nazir and Mohammed Farik comes despite behind-the-scenes plans to close the detention centre. The Biden administration has signalled that it intends to shutter the notorious prison. It currently holds 39 detainees, down from almost 800 prisoners that it housed in the months following 9-11. Nick Harper, CNA, Washington.